Hi, I'm Rob Eater. You're watching Drugstore News TV. More than 246 million people around the world suffer from diabetes. That's a number that's expected to reach 380 million by 2025 if nothing's done to change it. That would make diabetes one of the worst pandemics the world has ever known. One company that's trying to make a difference is Novo Nordisk. We're here today at the Changing Diabetes World Tour here in New York City's Union Square where Novo Nordisk has set up an entire village aimed at this concept of raising awareness for diabetes. Let's take a look. Here in the United States, we now have nearly 21 million individuals affected by diabetes. And approximately a third of them don't even know they have it. This is important because in roughly the time that we are making our remarks here, about 60 people in the United States will be diagnosed with diabetes. If you were a seven-year-old child born in the year 2000, you have a 33% chance of developing diabetes in your lifetime. If you're a Latino child, a female born in the year 2000, you have a one in two chance of developing diabetes sometime in your lifetime unless we change the course. We're back here at Novo Nordisk Changing Diabetes World Tour here in New York City in Union Square. We're lucky enough to have a moment with Novo Nordisk North American President Martin Suters, and we're going to ask him just a couple questions about what's going on here today, Martin. What, what, we've, you're going to see a huge pavilion. There's tents everywhere. What, 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 what are you guys trying to accomplish here today? We want to uh, create awareness about diabetes, and in particular that we want to change diabetes. There are so many people in the world suffering from diabetes. We need to make sure that everyone is aware about their disease and what we can do about changing diabetes. Uh, here in the U.S. we have about 21 million people with diabetes. Unfortunately, 6 million are not diagnosed yet. And that is, one, when again, one of our objectives to get those 6 million people diagnosed. 15 million people are diagnosed, but 10 million of those 15 are not in good control. So 10 million people in the U.S. are not in good control. They get late complications as amputations, blindness, uh, kidney dialysis, and that can be avoided. And that is, again, the awareness. We want to change diabetes, we want to make sure that people are getting in good control and all those late complications are going to be avoided. Dr. Moses, we, we heard you, your opening comments. You mentioned that Novo Nordisk is in business to put yourselves out of business. Can, can you talk to us a little bit about what, what you mean by that? Sure. I think, you know, when we talk about diabetes and our corporate vision to defeat diabetes, if you defeat diabetes, then who are we going to have to sell products to? But that ultimately is what drives the company. We've been in business for 84 years. The company was founded on the basis of a patient with diabetes, the wife of the founder who had type 2 diabetes. That brings me to my, my, my last question. You know, our readers are, are pharmacy retailers, uh, actual pharmacists and pharmacy executives, retail executives, and, and they're going to ask the same question. What can they do to take this to the next level? Well, I think it's really important to recognize that pharmacists in particular have a lot to offer patients with diabetes. They're, they're the individual that patients see on a much more routine basis than they ever see their healthcare care professional. So the pharmacists can act in a health professional mode, as they do anyway, but specifically around diabetes to make sure that patients are filling their prescriptions, are taking their medicines, are following up on the healthy lifestyle that's so important to diabetes. I think pharmacists play a key role in this process. And thanks very much for your time, Dr. Moses. I'm Rob Eater. You're watching Drugstore News TV.